Well, good afternoon and welcome to the Idahoan Show. So, as you know, if you've been following my channel, uh, lately I have been experimenting with homemade cutting fluids. And so today we're doing kind of a cutting fluid comparison. You know, I've got a couple of commercial products here, both good old WD-40 and more of a premium thread cutting oil. Then I've got some plain old canola oil. I've got some sulfurized canola oil that I made just by taking some of this stuff and heating it with some sulfur. Uh, I've got some canola soap that I made by taking some of this stuff and heating it with a little bit of uh, water and lye. And I've got some sulfurized canola soap that I made by taking some of this sulfurized oil and heating it with some water and lye. Uh, and then I made up some of these little steel test specimens. So we're going to tap a threaded hole in each of these and use the different cutting fluids that I have here, or perhaps I should say cutting compounds, because the two soaps are not exactly liquid at room temperature. Uh, and we'll see what works best. Okay, so I'm actually going to start with some of the WD-40, uh, which I've transferred to a spray bottle for ease of application. Okay, so the WD-40 worked in the sense that we were able to cut threads in the test piece, but it felt pretty sticky. You know, I had to use a lot of WD-40 and apply it pretty frequently just to be able to continue turning the tap. And especially there towards the end, you can see a couple of those threads are just about torn out. They, they came out pretty rough. Now let's try some canola oil. Well, I tell you what, the canola oil sure worked a whole lot better than the WD-40. I was able to go faster, it felt smoother, didn't have nearly as much sticking, and the threads look a whole lot better. Well, now we'll try it with my sulfurized canola oil. So the sulfurized canola oil certainly worked well. Uh, I'd like to think that it worked a little bit better than the regular canola oil. You know, I felt a little smoother, felt like I could go a little bit faster, but it really is kind of a subjective call there. So now we'll try the commercial, specially formulated thread cutting fluid, uh, which I transferred a little bit of it to this beaker so I could get a better look at it. And I must say, it looks an awful lot like my sulfurized canola oil. So we'll see how it performs. Okay. So with the commercial cutting fluid, it seemed like at first it was slipperier than uh, anything else I'd tried so far. Uh, you know, the first two or three threads were definitely easier to cut, but then after that it got more difficult. Uh, you know, more so I'd say than the sulfurized canola oil. And, you know, looking at the finished threads, you know, they look pretty good but they do look a little bit rougher than what I was getting with the canola oil, uh, you know, whether sulfurized or not. Okay, now let's give the canola soap a try. Okay. 
So the soap was definitely a little bit different. Uh, it was definitely slipperier. You know, the, the frictional resistance was less than with any of the oils that I've tried. But because the soap is a solid, it doesn't flow to the cutting edge like the oils do. And so I had to work the tap back and forth more to, you know, get it up to the cutting edge where it could do its job. And finally, we will try the sulfurized canola soap. So with the sulfurized canola soap, initially it seemed like it was cutting kind of rough. And I think that's just because the soap, you know, is solid and, you know, almost granular in its form. And so I think it just wasn't getting down to the cutting edge where it needs to be to lubricate the tap. Uh, and so I went back and mixed a little bit of the sulfurized canola oil with the soap to make more of a, a slurry. Uh, and that worked okay, uh, but it's pretty messy. So, in conclusion, uh, all of our thread cutting compounds worked in the sense of you know being able to cut threads through our test piece you know the sulfurized canola soap was really a little bit too thick you know we had to thin it down with a little bit of oil to to make that work and the wd-40 was awfully thin uh, you know it didn't provide nearly as much lubricity as some of the other compounds but again we made it work um, overall, I'd have to say that my favorite was probably the sulfurized canola oil. I think that will likely be my uh, go-to thread cutting compound for, you know, tough hand tapping applications in the future. Uh, but until then, thanks for watching the Ad Owen Show.